We now return to Uncharted Waters Origin. I don't even remember anymore if this is in portal or not. So, for that little adventure, I be satisfied here. <laughs> the next batch of goods. So we should be able to get this thing and hopefully finish the storyline so I can start the other one. Professor, we're back. Yeah, welcome back. Then let's mix the ingredients one by one. A few minutes later. All done. Take a sip, everyone. Ah, Professor, I don't think coriander's gonna work. I think ginger made the chocolate taste too healthy. Too healthy? The one with vanilla tastes amazing. It tastes creamier. I think this will be enough for anybody to drink. Ah ha 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 ha, Professor, it's finally done! What did you say the name of this drink was? Uh, Chocolatl. This is a Chocolatl of the Europeans, for the Europeans and by the Europeans. I'll name it Miranda Chocolatl. Lotl, Chocolatl, huh? Named after me? Professor, name it after me. How about Tonio Chocolatl? Tonio Chocolatl? Who's gonna buy something named Tonio Chocolatl? Miranda is a famous and great adventurer. So this will sell better than Miranda Curry. Okay, I'm gonna guess that that was a reference to uh, Miranda's storyline. We probably brought Curry back or something. Rise to my level, Tonio. Uh, just you wait. Once I'm a graduate, I'm gonna become a great merchant. Then we have to organize a tasting event. Finish the last bottle of Chocolatl too. Don't tell me I gotta go fucking get another one. Then I have to ask you another favor. Since we have sugar cane and vanilla, just bring back Chocolatl. Just. Bring back Chocolatl. You <laughs> son of a Did you bastard. I have to trade for that. Alright. Well, let's go see what the, the other thing is then. Maybe I can do that first. Uh, Hello. Are you here for a new okay, request? We're absolutely not going after that right now. We'll go with the girl with the teddy bear. After returning from his secret mission, Pietro Conti meets a girl named Angelica, whom he's helped before, I, I guess. Uh, Angelica says she needs his help again. Okay. It is possible that I could knock out both of these at the same time. I just gotta bring back a lot of chocolate. Anyway, we're heading off to this one. I should probably stop at the inn, though. The market, rather. So I guess it's both of them that Welcome must have a storyline. I don't even need to take along here. Let this go. I've got three hours to go to Moby Dick before I've got to wait another week again for it that to open up. Oh. I would rather be able to get that done, especially since it's going to take a while to sail there. We will go through Suez, but we'll see where this sends me. With any luck, it'll send me in the same direction. Let's get moving. I wonder if it's been long enough that I can... Nope, not even. I was hoping to be able to start that. Well, let's see from Suez. Well, I can pass through this area just fine now, because I have enough rowing. If I just go straight and come back, it probably won't take that It is interesting that these events did not happen together, though. This one popped up 
after uh, the other one. Well, the, the other one's not even a part of it. This this one's actually a several days long thing. For Valentine's. Hey, long time no see. Welcome back, Pietro. How was your latest adventure? Oh, right, I haven't been able to talk to her because she's locked behind the, the thing since I don't have the guy. It was an exciting adventure, of course. Miranda's going to love hearing the story. That's so. Isn't she waiting for you at home? Ah, you know what I'm talking about. I'll just have one drink and go. All right, just one drink then. Ooh, some alone time at last. I do miss Miranda, but I need times like this every once in a while, considering my personality. I, I guess. <laughs> Alright, just one drink. Miranda will let me get away with this as long as I don't get into any trouble. Pietro? Uh, sorry, I'm drinking alone today. I'm a married man now. A long time no see, Pietro. Who are you? How could you? It's me, Angelica. Ah, now I remember. I bought you that teddy bear. I guess this happened during his adventure. No, you didn't. It's a new one. Wow, you've grown so much. I can hardly recognize you. Uh, you haven't changed at all. It's so nice to see you. Are you working as an inn employee? No, I'm a merchant now. A merchant? Right. You said you wanted to trade. Uh, now you remember. Well, I made my dream come true. Thanks to you, I have become quite the merchant. That's nice. Great job. Since it's been so long since we last met, how about I treat you to some nice food? This inn serves amazing pasta. No, uh, Pietro, huh? Could you help me with something for old time's sake? Do you need my help? If it's simple, I can help you out. It's not simple, but still, please help me. Is that so? All right, tell me what's going on. Well, you know, Valentine's Day is around the corner, right? Yes, speaking of which, I need to get something for Miranda. Focus and let me listen to me. There is someone I want to give a gift to. He's a sailor that helped me out once. He's a really nice fellow. I owe him something, and I want to show him show that I support him. Oh, surely no one could refuse that. What a lucky man, getting a gift from someone as pretty as you, Angelica. Anyway, there's something I want to give him. Have you heard of Chocolatel, the drink that is popular these days? Huh? Is that what popu what's popular these days? What is it? It's a pick-me-up that perks you up. You know how tiring sailing is. It should be a good gift for a sailor. Yes, it will be a good gift. What's the problem? I want to find out where I can get it, but I'm a bit scared of talking to other people. All right, let's learn about this drink together. Thank you, Pietro. You're as kind as I remember you to be. No problem. I can help you out with something like this. Matilda, have you heard of Chocolatel? Chocolatel? I've heard of it. It's a dark drink from the New World. It's named Miranda Chocolatel or something. Miranda? What a strange coincidence. Anyway, this adorable lady right here is looking for that drink. You know where we could get some? Uh, speaking of which, I heard some people in Naples got that drink. God damn it, Naples is nearby. Then let's go together, Angelica. Thank you, Pietro. Okay. They're gonna make me go, and I'm gonna have to get like 200 of it. It's gonna be impossible because I'm not gonna have enough storage for all that stuff. Oi. Let's get moving. On the plus side, if I need to, I should be able to increase my village reputation quite highly. God, there's so much stuff. Right. Oh, f fuck. So, Cinna Minimum, right, is over here. But, you can get it as a reward. You can get it as a reward by having chocolate interest. Um, <laughs> that's how I was able to get it the first time. I was able to actually, and I might actually be able to get some of it off of those orange pirates. They're not around here, but I think they are around here. Um, I might be able to knock it off of them. Otherwise, we got to get it around here. That's okay. Uh, they'll probably send me off that way. We'll go east. I gotta go get Moby Dick anyway. We'll pick it up here. 
take it with. Forgot how many ingredients there were though. Hell of a lot. So I may have to adjust my loadout, getting rid of all the cannons and wood, trimming down my supply just so I have enough that can actually cross the ocean, filling up the rest with the goods so that I have enough. Of course they'd want me to do that. Here we are, let's ask around about Chuckalottle. Yep, leave it to me. Hmm, didn't you just say you're scared of talking with other people? Hello, do you know anything about Chuckalottle, the popular drink these days? Ah, that delicious drink? I tried it because Professor Giuliano brought some recently. I think it's a New World specialty. I had no idea something bitter and sweet could go so well together. I took one sip and it practically gave me wings! Ah, oh, they gave him Red Bull. What the hell is that? Some kind of particle effect going on behind his head there. So, Miranda was behind this. I should go meet Professor Giuliano. Okay. Yeah, news of Chocolatel's already spread all the way to Genoa. It seems like Miranda achieved another amazing feat. Care to share what you know? Sure thing. Professor Giuliano told Pietro the story of how he made Chocolatel with Miranda Antonio. That's why it was named Miranda Chocolatel. Miranda Chocolatel is better than Antonio Chocolatel, right? Of course. So where can I have this Chocolatel? Do you have any with you? I just had some of the few bottles they shared with me. You should be able to get some at Vera Cruz. Antonio said he's going to start a Chocolatel business there. Veracruz? I should stop by there. Are you sure? That place is quite far away. Yes, don't worry about me. Oh, now I actually have to go all the way down. Okay, well. So we don't want to do that. Now? Fuck. <laughs> so, I've got to make sure that I pick up... Nope, nope, that's the wrong one. Wait, wait a minute. Can I get it there now? Probably not. Uh, so it's a one-to-one-to-one... -to -one -to -one. Ratio gives me two chocolate bottle, and I'm going to need a lot. Let's actually go to the inn. The union, rather. Hello, are you here? So for I have a no new idea request? what the request is going to want, but if it's this, 100. So, shall we assume 200? Right, yes, 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 okay. Right, you turn in cow to get it. Right, right. Well, ah, fuck, I want to go that way anyway. I've only got three hours to go there. But anyway, yes, so you, you do this. You take cows from Malaga over there, and you can get your... Um, unfortunately, I couldn't do it anyway because we're tied in under this. But yeah, that's how you get it the easy way. But whatever, we'll go a long way now. So let's go to the market. Uh, finish that off. So uh, anticipating, what, about 200, though? Oh, shit. My thing is full. Okay. Um, which means I will need 100, which would have been enough. Just off of one of those... Oh, am I full? I guess I'm full. I guess we're taking a bunch of hazelnut. Right. Well, we'll go to Port Said. See what I have to pay to cross this time. Oh. Are you see if I can cross on the way back. Let's get uh, moving. I don't know. I, the, the Moby Dick thing is not really worth doing. I mean... It, you do so little damage to it, it needs a balance for sure, because, I mean, like I was saying earlier, there's not going to be enough people still playing the game at a high enough level to do any damage to it. Oh, fuck's sake, we haven't even been able to kill uh, Blackbeard or whatever it, whatever it is. God damn it. Yeah, Edward Teach. 
still has not dipped below the 2% mark. Like, we just aren't getting enough people to beat that, so there's absolutely no way Moby Dick is ever going to go down. So no one's ever going to get the main stuff from this. You'll see why, because he's got attacks that are just absolutely outrageous. But... I'll do it for the the event challenge or whatever, just so I can get some freebies, because that, with an extra 25 seaworthiness, would be nice, and I can afford to... Ah, piss. I forgot to, uh, to swap out stuff at the port. Well, maybe, maybe I'll remember when we get the port Saeed. I doubt. All right, let's see this go. Where's the immigration office? It's right there. Oh, are you setting sail? For free. I guess we add trade goods. Do we have to add trade goods? Just okay. Yes. There it is. And suddenly we're in Suez. Let's see. Just want to see if now. Now because I've gone both ways for free, I wonder oh, if now. Yeah, said. there we go. Now it's going to cost money, and then I think after a while it's going to start costing blue gems. Welcome to the market. Right, we're already full. All right. Well, uh, where do I think I can make it? Cote. Cote has cinnamon. Oh, are you setting sail? Let's get moving. 21 days of sailing. Okay. Could I... Well, let's just click on this and see if we can get the Moby Dick. We can. Take me all the way to Moby Dick on... My tank of gas here, so that's good. Yep, we'll go take care of that, probably stop at Manila, and then hit it on the way back. And then pay a million ducats to use that again as a shortcut, because otherwise it's going to be outrageous to get back over there. We have to stop along the way anyway. We'll have to stop at Santa Island, over here at uh, Cohasset, and... Uh, what else? Bahasa, that's where we get Turkey. Sugarloaf there. This is at Pernambuco, San Juan, anywhere along the way. Havana will do. But, uh, yeah. God. And then I've just gotta just fill up. I just gotta fill up. I should probably grab 200 cinnamon just in case. Uh, anyway, I'll see you at Moby Dick. We're approaching. And there he is. Here we go. 4.5 million power. This is an extremely long intro to this thing. Okay, this will be a short battle though, because Admiral, something huge popped up toward the figurehead. Must be the whale we saw earlier. Ray the cannons and the ram. I'm just gonna let this one go. Let's gonna do a, a cool fast and cool auto. Head. So apparently it's weak to melee. 
Fire to, all to, cannons. Yeah, that melee ramming. I One of those two. You. That ramming, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. You don't do enough damage at all. Take this cannonball. Completely irrelevant. But you can see as you uh, knock it down, it gets stunned. That's our chance. The wheel's skin is exposed. Everybody, draw your swords right now. You get into melee range with it. Um, but this doesn't last hardly anything, and uh, fight with honor. You know. <laughs> Not going down that easily. By the time he recovers, he'll do so much damage, he'll just completely obliterate him. Here's the physical proof. Time to show off my skills. He came to his senses and he's ready to unleash his anger upon the enemies. So he's got lots of AoE. Then he's got a knockback attack, and that's what actually kills you. This can also knock you out of the arena. I like our chances. And it seems to do enough damage that you also can't move. So even though it shows, you know, he's got the layer of armor with his skin, and then you do damage to him. So that's so difficult. On top of just the massive amount of damage he does. Because of what he does here, and because of how limited you can move after the attacks, Whatever status ailment that is, uh, he definitely singles you out and can maneuver across the whole board. So he can just spread you out. You can't get back together to regroup. And then he just wipes your guys out one by one. The hour of judgment has arrived! I don't see how how you can do this. How any individual can do enough damage, let alone a surfer where nobody's playing. And what bothers me is that if it is like any of the other characters, they regenerate just a little bit. How do you bit. like that? So, like, Edward Teach will get him down to about 2%, and then by the time his event opens up again, or his assault opens up again, he's back at, like, 4.5 to 5. So if this guy is only getting knocked down to 99%, Prepare to fire! and if that, it's more like 99.8 or something, you know? Just, it's not quite a hundred anymore, but it's I'll definitely not close to even 99%. If he recovers a couple percent every time, I just... I don't see how you do it. Fight with honor! It's a miracle! And the, I think this is bugged, too. I think it's a bugged shit. fight, because... We stunned him again by cutting into his skin, but this time it didn't stun him. And that's happened the other time I fought him, too. So I just, I don't, I don't think the fight is balanced, and I think it's got problems. You know, 
its programming anyway. Getting hit would be disastrous. Well, imagine that. We don't know where the whale's going to attack. Everyone disperse, except now that he's damaged me so I can't move. We can only move one way. And they don't even let you see the end, and you just get hit, and then it's over. We're down to 98%. Look at that. The total of 6,000 damage. This guy's got like 4.5 million. Alright. Well, I'll play through it again, just because. Um... But then I will see you probably back over to trade for some chocolate. Okay. Never seen that message before. Let's get moving. Unless it, that's what it was talking about. Um, the dude just said he saw a shipwreck. I don't see one. Must have been talking about... Well, where... how do I search for that? the uh, coordinates there, I guess. I don't know of any sounding tools or anything like that that can find that. Contains S-grade gear or one type of material used for combining parts. That'll have to come later. I don't know about any tools that can do that. Is it be an exploration tool? Hmm. I just thought that was interesting. I've never seen that before. I definitely didn't see any shipwreck around. But anyway. I thought he was referring to the crew member, because that was right in front of me when he said it. I'll have to look. We're on our way to Cahasset, and I don't know if... Yeah, they don't have an item shop there. There's no way for me to find a tool. The next time I'm in a town, maybe Havana? We gotta go hit Havana anyway. Nope. Oh, what about Veracruz? There's one there. When I get to Veracruz, maybe I'll look at the tools and see if there is a sounding one, so I can dive for a shipwreck or something. Very interesting. I'd be kind of amazed if there was something down there. Who knows? Anyway. I'll meet you back in Veracruz. Okay, Veracruz. We'll see how much of this they want me to trade. Hopefully I can kill two birds with one stone. Impressive. You made it all the way here. I told you I could do it. Thank you, Pietro. No problem. Looks like this... Like that place over there is selling chocolate. It looks like it's quite popular. That's a very long line. Wait, is that...? How oh, come? Have some bittersweet Miranda chocolate. I knew this couldn't be a coincidence. Hey, Tony O. Ah, Pietro. What are you doing here? Are you selling chocolate? Oh, yes. I learned how to make chocolate that Europeans would like with Miranda. I'm trying it out here, and everybody's loving it. Even the sailors and the locals. I knew it. Where's Miranda right now? She went somewhere else to help 
cut uh, uh trap cut you up track you up I never I never figured that name out you know I need to tell you something Antonio told Pietro of how he made Miranda Chocolate. So that's what happened, and you're trying to make a big profit here. Ah, <laughs> my apologies, but I have Miranda's permission. Well, that's alright with me. Then could I have some of that Miranda Chocolate? Of course. Sir, could we have a bottle of Chocolate? Hey, we're all out. What? Really? Yeah, do something with all these waiting people. Oh, what should I do? I miscalculated the demand because Chocolate got so popular. It looks like he is in trouble. Yes, we should help him, right? Of course. That way I can get chocolate too. Hey, Tonio. Can you make more chocolate? Yes, I can, but I'm all out of ingredients. What are the ingredients? Chocolate, vanilla, sugar cane. Vanilla. You should be able to get chocolate and vanilla from the New World. Sugar cane is traded at a place called Santa Island. Alright, could you make some chocolate for us if we get the ingredients? Of course. I should hurry. Angelica, show me what you're made of. Alright, Pietro, I got this. I'll get to sail first. See you at the harbor. Angelica disappeared. Pietro, who is that girl? Her name's Angelica. I took care of her for a short while in the past. You took care of her? Yes, a couple of years ago. I met her by chance at the Genoa port. The young kid was roaming the streets. I didn't know if she had ran away from home or if she was an orphan. I decided to take care of her just until she figured out where to go. I told her a bit about sailing back then, but I have no idea, had no idea she would become a merchant or even a sailor. Wow, I really want to become someone like you in the future, Pietro. What is that, Admiral? What? What? Is that Admiral about me? What? What? What is that Admiral about? Mo? Huh? Ah, uh, never mind. <sighs> anyway, don't tell Miranda about this. I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be waiting. I'd say this makes me a seasoned sailor. Okay. Well, that means we get to go to the Union and figure this out. Oh! You here to accept a new request? Get to own some chocolate. Deliver it all the way to Spill. Or we do this one. Now, I'm thinking this one probably can be picked up over there. So I should take some extra so I can knock this out. And then go hit that one. But I don't know how much chocolate level I'll be able to get. So. Let's just go here now. See how much I can get what I've got. Oh, are you setting sail? And if I get 150, we'll be able But that means I'm going to have to come back because that other quest was not there. Oh, well, wait a minute. It's because it's a part of this. Dum dum. Thousand hours. In five hours. Okay. It is 2.30 in the morning <laughs> right now for me. So I will not be waiting five hours. I will have to come back on that one. So I will be doing those other quests, and I'll be making my way over there. And that will allow me to do these stories simultaneously. You know, though, if they're going to want some, I'm going to need to get as much as I possibly can here. Get the most I can get. Did I... Okay. Thank you. Jeez Louise. Yeah, and now I can't gift anymore because of that 60,000 mark. But at least I have 387. Enough of what I need right now. So let's head to Vera Cruz. Let's get moving. Get that quest again. Now, where do I get this off? Santiago. Okay. Or Nassau. Doesn't matter. I just gotta remember not to go sell this ship when I take it back. What else? 
Seninimum? 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 Because if that's the case... I just gave away all that stuff to make the job. should be focusing on getting the upgrade stuff. Indeed. Go to the Union. I'll take the risk. We'll be able to get that quest back Tony, in Seville. You here to accept a new request? Because that'll allow me to get a few more points and just have that. I can get that one. Finish that one off. The estate. Let's hope that works. Oh, are you setting sail? Seville being a major city ought to have that. It's a limited quest, and most of the limited quests Let's show up moving. anyway. Just enough. Just enough. I may... I may wish to stop. Actually, I probably should. Make a make a stop at Ponte Delgada. Even that's gonna take twelve days. So we'll be making a stop at Santa Island then. Okay. Just swing by for supplies. What is that? Hot time tax waiver perk. Oh right, I noticed that. I'm not paying taxes right now. Okay. Well, I will. Spend another hour doing this, but hopefully finish these two quests so I can finish up this nonsense. Not that. That at all. Um, this. That'll unlock, and we'll just... But with the two thousands, man, that, that's gonna help, because there's a lot of shit in here. B grade, A grade, S grade. I should probably just go ahead and get those. There's a lot here. I'll hang on to it and see. We've got 17 days to spend the stuff. Some of this stuff here. Okay, well anyway, I'll be back. So I noticed there's another competition that got added for trading and selling chocolate, uh, Valentine's chocolates, and it tells you it's at that village. And that is probably where tomorrow's quest will take us. There's a village right here that you need to barter to get the vanilla chocolate. And it takes the chocolate, the sugar loaf, and the vanilla, which is what they were talking about. So, it will probably behoove me to make more. And I can come trade for that. Not only to complete the mission, but then to possibly make enough money on my uh, thing there. Now, it says profit, which means, and, and goddamn, in this situation, probably taking it all the way to Edo, or maybe even up to Hokkaido somewhere, whatever the furthest distance is that I can go, to make my bones there. Professor, we're back. Oh, you brought a lot of chocolate. This should be enough to use as a t at the tasting event. Here are a few bottles for you. Spread the word, would you? Party received Miranda chocolate from Professor Giuliano. Antonio, let's take this back to your school. They'll change their minds. It's a great idea. Let's hurry and go. <laughs> Did you bring? Hopefully, this is the end of it. But anyway, yeah, that's um, that is how the system works for this event. You basically take cows from Malaga back to the New World, 
so you can trade them for the cinnamon, so you don't have to go all the way to India for it. And then you just Let's do a moving. loop there, the circle. Because I think it's cows from Malaga to Santiago. So basically you would go to Santa Island to pick up your sugar, pick up your turkeys from Cohasset, come down to Santo Domingo to get your cinnamon, hit Havana for the cocoa, the cacao, and then take it, um, trade it for your chocolate here. And then what were the two ingredients? Vanilla or sugar loaf. Basically I have to double up on that. Vanilla being in. Pour Lamar, Santiago, back to Santiago then. So th there is kind of a loop you could probably do, but it would require most of your cargo space, I'm sure. Now I do... I think I might already have it in my... My... Ship. Uh, it was one of the event parts. It gave me... Uh, expanded... Might, might even be this. Huh? I gave me expanded cargo. That one. Ah, oh, there it is. Large quantity cargo chest increased my load capacity by seven. No, oh, it was this one. Oh, that was also by seven for the hull. Let's get moving. It's not a lot. <laughs> Fourteen is not a lot unless it translates. Like one point of load capacity increases it by so many tons. You think the professors would like this now? Of course, it tastes much better than before. Remember what Matilda said? Make sure you talk up the chocolatel. Alright, see you later. Should be the end of his storyline here. This is delicious. I could sell this at my inn. Is it any good? Or is it that good? Yeah, and it's also named Miranda Chocolatel. You know how famous you are here, right? People will flock here just because of your name. I'm that famous? the great adventurer of the new generation that surpassed Pietro Conti. Quite famous. Uh, hi, Tonio. What's with the long face again? Didn't the professors like it? No, the professors loved it. What's wrong? For the sake of fairness, the professors won't change my grade. Well, they're not wrong, but didn't you already finish your first assignment? I should have submitted this in the first place. Cheer up, you can prepare better next time. Here, drink up. Isn't this Miranda Chocolatel? Ah, I'm overflowing with energy. Who cares about the first assignment? Unless it's Cocolatl, <laughs> because it's got cocaine, and then it would make sense that it's picking everybody up. I'll get the highest grades on the rest of the assignments. Ooh, a bottle of Miranda Chocolatl perked him right up. Yep, I can't hear, can't bear to see Cacchuapa, if I give up now. I'll do my best. Cheer me on, everybody. Cheer up, Tonio. Fight, Tonio. Win, Tonio. Welcome to the best tavern in the world. I hope that's a done. Hello. Are you here for a my new request? My goodness. taking cows back to Santiago to build up this and get a little bit more. I have probably, what, 200 left? 230, yeah. So that, that I mean, fuck it, a one-to-one -one ratio. And you get six out of it. Yeah, you get six Valentine chocolates for one of e every bit of that, so... Uh, I probably wouldn't even have enough cargo space with as much as I've already got in here, to be honest. I did do 600, well, it'd be 200, but, you know, <laughs> I don't think I've got enough, I don't think I've got 1,200 cargo space in here for goods. I max out at 870. That's okay, I mean, I would still have the materials, I could come back. But, uh, yeah, so I think taking it from there, well, you know, it depends on what the quest requires me to do, but for the, uh, 
competition where it just says make profit. Exchange and make profit by exchanging Valentine chocolates. I assume it means exchanging Valentine chocolates and then selling them for profit. That, that would be the only thing that makes sense there. But uh, take that from over here all the way. Probably to Ezo then. Would they even like it? Preferences for... Spices. See now, like, if I wanted the... The best boost. Well, and if I want a profit. What even does that count as? Luxury? Doesn't tell me, of course. Why would it tell me? Luxury. Yeah. So what I'd have to do is sail over here and look for somebody who is currently having a luxury boom, and then I could offload it for a ton of them. Like right now, that's actually cheap, but never mind. But uh, anyway, yeah. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. God damn, there's nobody here. That's what we'll be doing tomorrow, I guess. Now that there's... Five hours remaining. Okay. Lots of good stuff to get up here, too. Probably go for those contracts. I think that'll be most useful to me. Because, I, I mean, I'm not even near the ability to uh, get level 18 ships. I think I can build level 15 still. Anyway, that's enough for this. I'm going to end this one here. I will see you next time.